So the challenge we set our engineers was to design a cyclone that would last the lifetime of the machine without ever losing suction and without needing the user to ever wash or replace the filters. So we did a load of home trialling. We found that a heavy user of a machine picked up more than 700 binfuls of dust. A binful of dust equates to this amount of replica test dust. There are actually quite a few machines that claim they never lose suction. But the test they will have done to demonstrate that involves picking up just one of these, which is ridiculous because that's not the way machines are used in real life. When James Dyson invented the dual cyclone vacuum cleaner 25 years ago, he developed a system that had an outer bin that separated the large debris and then the fine dust in there went into a single large, very efficient cone that sits in the heart of the cyclone pack. We continued to research and develop the idea and we, we discovered that if you uh, design a system with multiple small cones, still using the similar geometry to the single large one, we can make a system that is even more efficient and very compact. The challenge for this project was to, to go the next step, to make an even more efficient system. So we developed a cyclone that uses 54 very, very small cones. And that means we can tune it to be incredibly efficient. So it really is pulling out the, the smallest little particles of dust. Because they're so small, there's a chance the dust can get clogged in the bottom. So we made the tips of the cones out of a flexible rubber. And as the airflow goes down the cone into the, into the soft part, it makes the soft cone tip oscillate and vibrate. And that prevents the dust from sticking to it and blocking up the cone. Because of its Dyson Kinetic technology, with our machine, in its lifetime, it never loses suction and you never need to wash or replace the filters.